Welcome back to another Saga Survivors unboxing video. Let's get right into it. All right, let's see what we got here today. Nice. Deadpool. This is a, a pretty cool figure I saw the other day, and especially because of the new movie, I had to get it. Now this is a, a different type of Deadpool. He's definitely not one of the figures from the movies, which I definitely want to get as well, but this one was pretty cool. I, I liked that it was, uh, it was a little bit different. So here, let's, let's, Let's get it out of the box nice and gently. Now for, this is the first Marvel figure I believe that I'm opening in front of you guys. So just like with the Star Wars figures, there are little little hacks to getting it out of the box without messing up the box itself. Now the boxes will have little pieces of tape on the side. So you just peel that back. I wanna pop out this, uh, this back piece first. Get it gently. Wow, that one was really tough. And then this one, it seems to be pretty even. You just pull. You want to make sure that this bottom piece, you, you tuck out a little bit so that it's easier to take apart. Just like that. Now let's see all the pieces this has in it. Nice. It has a lot of cool accessories. Let's get them unboxed. All right, so we have a couple of uh, little pieces in here. We have a cool little hat. This looks like the tail for, he is a build, a figure set. So if you get all the pieces, then it, it creates something. Nice, so we have a, a nice little a little weapon for him, a little gun. Nice, I, I like when it, their hands can actually get the weapons in without such a struggle. I like it. He has, he's rocking the X-Men suit, which is really cool. I like that. He's got his swords back here. Nice. This is a pretty cool figure. Let's see about the standing test. So these things seem to keep falling down his leg. I don't love that. There we go. We got him standing. So let's let's look at him. You know, uh, when I was trying to get him to stand, I really like the way he feels. He's very uh, he's very bendable at a bunch of different ways. I like that he has the his other face. That's really cool, and this hat, which really gives me uh, it's funny because it gives me for some reason the mask vibes. You know, the movie The Mask with Jim Carrey. But I like that. I like his, uh, I like that we can change him up a little bit. You know, once we got him standing, he looks like he's pretty sturdy. So, I really like him. I'm excited to make some videos out of him. And, uh, may need to use a little bit of sticky tack, but... Yeah, I just moved him in a different position, and it looks like he's still good to go. So, I think it just took a minute, but, uh, yeah, he's a pretty good figure. You know, he can move all the, all the ways, get into all the different positions. So, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, to play with him a little bit. All right, so yeah, as we saw, he passed the standing test. He's able to hold his weapons without any trouble. Uh, only thing I really didn't love is the fact that these, uh, the tops of his boots keep falling, but that's no big deal. It uh, should be pretty simple. Just might give me a little bit of trouble with my stop motion here and there, if it's falling and pulling back up and whatever, but I just, uh, it's not a big deal. I would have to give him about a 9 out of 10 rating. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
if you would get this Deadpool, if you like him, uh, what you might want to see me do a stop motion of him doing. Deadpool and I, thank you guys for watching this long. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.